Learn a little sense. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Welcome back to the channel. So we are continuing on 6.2.2 and we're dealing with Spry. So if they passively evade, you get a fatigue debuff. And if they evade on Mesmerize, then you get stunned for one second. And of course, there's a bunch of evaders on this lane. So let's see how we deal with that. Okay, we are back with more Mole Man action, and of course we're up against the Black Widow, who's got the 3%. Uh, we talked about that on the last episode, and there we go, he got an evade failed already. So anyway, we're just going to run through this. We've got no retreat here, so you can't do double dashbacks without taking that degen damage. So just sit back, enjoy the fight, it's a lot better than the last one. And again, notice the dex block dex, where you're taking the least amount of damage and not getting any of that degen damage. So here we want to at least try to get her to bait. Uh, last time we, we did this, the, the bait didn't really work out all that great and we got locked into the corner, but I'm um, hoping we can do a little something more this time. It's not a matter of not being able to dex the SP2, uh, it's just that in the corner that's a little bit more tough. So I'm trying to bait out her SP1 uh, while we're in the middle of the stage so I don't have to trigger that degen. Okay, here, uh, just the muscle memory got the best of me. So I went two dexes and I took the degen damage anyway, so now it's YOLO. Okay, so here we are, we are in Frenzy, so now I've got to be careful because I'm I'm not going to be able to bypass her evade, so hopefully that 3% stays 3%. Alright, we got a lucky bait right here, boom, and we did not trigger that degen, so that's extra fantastic. Alright, this fight's almost done, let's get it in, bam, she's down. I remember I said it before, people will be sleeping on that bull man. He's basically like the honey badger of evaders. It's like, oh, you got evade? Oh man, don't care. Honey badger, mo man, don't care. These fights are basically going to play out as if they were just regular fights. Just make sure that you dex the specials, don't get hit, uh, and, uh, and get it done. That's pretty much it. Enjoy. I will say I had a little bit of trouble dexing all the specials. Like I was getting uh, a lot of that dex right as block type thing. So uh, I had to make some adjustments to my play style a little bit. Uh, and while running through act six, it happens a little bit more, but uh, I, I kind of get used to it towards the end. All right, coming to the end here. I was careful with my specials, only used the SP3. I didn't want him phasing through and taking unnecessary damage. So uh, let's get it in. Okay, take a wild guess how this one's going to go. I'm gonna see that evade failed a lot. So Wasp uh, has that auto evade and then she has that counter sting and all that stuff, but guess what? Mo Man don't care. Now if you watch the Green Goblin Dexy Time video, you'll see I do a lot of specials in the corner and then backing out. And that's like a really great way to bait out these uh, specials if they're not baiting. You know what else Mo Man don't care about? Backblast. Goodbye, Backblast. That incinerate came in for like half a second. He shrugged it off. Nah, son. I ain't dealing with that. So we go with that special one. She tried to evade. Mo Man don't care. And it's done. Okay, next up we got Spider Gwen, aka Ghost Spider, aka Mo Man don't care. Now what I care about is dex spread his block. But it's all good, because Mole Man gets stronger the more damage he takes. So, Mole Man don't care.
smell the sweet smell of evade failure. It smells like strawberries. Oh, Nightcrawler? We'll use Warlock. <laughs> nah, we're gonna use Mole Man. Alright, so here we are. We've got class disadvantage, but guess what? Mole Man don't care. If we're gonna just bypass those evades, it is all good. Whatever he's got going on, it don't care. Here comes an SP1. Can you evade? Mole Man don't care. And just a simple reminder, I rank 5 my Mole Man before the buff. And I think that Mole Man does care. If you did it too, good for you. Okay, we are wrapping up on this fight here. We're just gonna go ahead and launch that SP1. Oh, Nightcrawler got an SP1? Oh man, don't care. Okay, next up we've got Havoc. He's on crumbling armor, improved power gain, enhanced energy attacks, and of course, back blast. So I've got a rank four vision, so I'm gonna pop a couple of boosts here. I actually haven't used any boosts thus far. Uh, I don't know why I didn't, but this seems like a good time to do so. Uh, kind of close the gap there a little bit between my other rank 5 champions. He's actually been rank 3 for a long time. Uh, I totally forgot that I had a rank 4 gem, a uh, tech rank 4 gem, uh, when I when I kind of started playing again. So, uh, well, yeah, here it is. Uh, his rank 4-ness is, uh, is, is now boosted. So, uh, kind of test driving him to see what he's made of. I guess it kind of goes along with the theme. It's like, you've got improved power gain. OG Vision don't care. Okay, launching an SP1 there, power draining him, and for some reason, I went to light intercept, and well, okay, you saw what happened. Moving on, we still got a lot of health to go. So we're just keeping him in the corner here, launching that SP2. Boom, he had a block there, I thought he was going to attack, but uh, he did not. Alright, we got ourselves an SP1, boom, he's going down, so this is keeping those charges off. Every time he gets power drain, He's not going to be able to build up those plasma charges, and he won't be able to transfer them over to me, uh, so he'll never reach 10 as long as I keep on power draining. And here we go, he's at 8. Boom! Not anymore. Okay, that was my fault. I went in for a little bit of an early light intercept, uh, and he was able to counter me, so I can't make that mistake again. Alright, here he is. He's building up plasma charges again. He's up to seven. Bam, back down to zero with a heal block. Not that he was really healing or anything, but uh, moving on. We had a nice interruption to that heavy attack. Uh, looking for a parry. Boom, we got that. And we have our SP1. Bam, he goes down. Catching him with the light intercept into another combo. Bam, there is another SP1. Another light intercept to the grill. You got some stakes for that grill, buddy. I'm uh, just having fun with it at this point. Light intercepts for days. OG Viz really makes that easy. Okay, we are in the final fight here up against Mr. Sinister. So we've got our Warlock here, but we also have a boost. Uh, so we have a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, and also, uh, on the last episode, I forgot to mention that we had Captain America Infinity War on the team. So every time Sinister is going to be launching a special attack, he's going to be power drained afterwards. So this power gain that he gets off of the decks is completely disappeared, which is absolutely fantastic. So uh, in this one, we're gonna be running all the way up to the SP3. We're gonna make sure that we have a Fury active before we launch it, so we can take advantage of that power burn. So now it's just a matter of building up his power meter because I want the power burn to do as much damage as possible. I couldn't get the parries, and I couldn't get the openings here, uh, but still trying. There we go. Now for some reason here, the uh, special 3 didn't launch, uh, so I'm kind of back to square one. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait out this concussion uh, and try to build up again. 
This is where the Captain America Infinity War uh, synergy didn't work out to my favor because <laughs> I wanted to build up power and he's over here draining uh, because all of a sudden he's baiting like a champion. There we go. All right, there we go. We've got that power burn, uh, getting that damage over time. That's not like a crazy amount, but I thought that was pretty good. Okay, now we are looking to bait out that SP1. Bam, we go in for the counterattack, and that power drain is just so beautiful. Now keep in mind, that power drain also triggers his D-Jet, so every time that that happened, we're getting a little bit of extra damage too. All right, we are coming to a close on this one. We just need one more parry, and this, and this is over, with just a little bit of lag. Anyway, if you like the video and you want to see more, go ahead and click subscribe, like, comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama. All that stuff helps me out. Remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip. Oh, Potamus. Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all.